Hey guys, so it's very exciting this morning, uh, well actually this afternoon I got a package from Good Look Buy which is the distributor for the PCB manufacturer that I use. So inside was uh, was this thing, uh, which I sent off a f only a few days ago. Uh, you'll see a better image of it if I bring a board that I've already taken out. So this is the uh, Briggs board that will connect um, my FPGA dev, dev kit, my LX9 board, uh, to a Mega Drive cartridge. Uh, so I've already started um, making this one up, actually soldering soldering the chips on. Um, I haven't got around to soldering the the the, uh, the um, level shifters yet, uh, but I will I will do that later once I've once I've tested everything and made sure that there's no really stupid electrical problems with it. Um, so the idea is that this connects to the LX9's edge connector like this. Uh, it's quite a secure connection. It takes some force to get that together, um, and then. I've just got a normal Mega Drive cartridge again that uh, um, I've cut a slot in the top here. So the idea is that you put the um, you put the dev kit cartridge down onto the into the plastic, and then you can just connect it and screw it together. And once it's screwed together, it's actually quite mechanically stable. You know, this it's not going to flap around or anything. And the great thing as well is that it, it uh, you can plug it into and take it out of the uh, out of the Mega Drive without um, without getting the PCB caught in these little doors, which was always a problem with previous versions of this thing. So um, I've only tried doing basic testing on it. Um, I mean the, the FPGA powers up from the uh, from the Mega Drive's power supply. Uh, I'm just about to the stage where I can test the uh, the reset switch so making sure that the, the FPGA can hold the, the Mega Drive in reset. Um, I've tested all of the um, all of the, 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 the basic functionality of, of this FPGA board, you know, this is a 16 megabit, uh, sorry, megabyte uh, SD RAM. Uh, this is the FPGA, uh, and this is a high-speed USB interface. Um, so over the next day or so, I'll be oh, and there's an SD card slot there. Uh, there's a USB connector there, 24 megabyte, uh, sorry, 24 megahertz crystal, um, a couple of um, uh, voltage regulators. Oh, and there's a um, there's a boot flash as well for the FPGA, which has enough uh, ha has a spare 128k, which I hope to use for the um, for the uh, monitor program and menu program when it boots up. So I mean, it 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 should actually you know when when it's finished, it will it will work in a standalone mode. So if you just turn it on, you'll get you'll get a menu uh, program, you know, menu of all the all the games on the SD card displayed on the screen. But if you actually want to use it for development, then you just have to plug in a uh, USB cable and you're off. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Um, quite excited. Uh, the next few days will be quite interesting, to, uh, trying various things out, making sure that the, uh, the, the interface actually works properly and so on. Uh, so I'll keep you updated. Alright, cheers.